So in today's video, I shall be mostly installing these in that. But first of all, I'm going to need that. Nothing's ever simple, is it? So welcome to the next episode in my Citroen Relay van build series. In this episode, I am doing my air suspension. And uh, let me show you what I've bought. And uh, it came from eBay, no, no less. So let's have a quick look at it first. So here it all is, just a, a fairly straightforward, simple kit. I've got my two, uh, two bellows. Just can't help do that. Uh, brackets to go on the top, brackets to go on the bottom, my uh, tubing with a uh, pressure gauge, uh, various little small fixings, uh, including the, the T pieces for the, for the pipe work, two uh, fairly big black bolts, which I'm guessing are the ones for the top brackets there. And uh, this particular kit also came with a little mini uh, mini compressor there, uh, which just runs off of a cigarette lighter. Uh, so that's what I've got, and uh, that's what we're going to be installing today. Although I've come across a problem already, which is why at the other end of this table, I've got my little MIG welder. So these are the old bump stops that, uh, that you have to take off. And these bump stops are absolute crap. Let me explain uh, the problem I've had. And if you're going to do air suspension, it's possible you might have the same trouble. Let me set the camera up on a tripod so I've got two hands and I'll show you the, the, the issue I've had. So this is the bump stop that I, that I took out. And uh, normally that would be uh, sort of attached to that and that pushes into that little sort of receptacle there. And uh, the idea being is you just simply get hold of it and you unscrew it. That's what they say on the uh, on the blurb, and that's what I've seen in some other videos. Yeah, right, like that happens. Uh, so what happened was um, started to unscrew it, and it got very very tight suddenly, and then it went and got very very loose. And then what happened was I was turning and turning and turning and turning, and nothing was happening and uh, I thought, oh, that's a bit strange. So what I did is I got a big screwdriver and, uh, and hooked that uh, out of there to, uh, to reveal the, the cup. And uh, what happened on this bolt here is uh, the bolt, had, it was quite rusty and it got stuck in there. But on the other side of this bolt, um, it's just a lot of this uh, welding is, is what I've already done, uh, so excuse that mess. But this uh, is just spot welded in two tiny little places in there. And this is a round uh, headed um, sort of bolt. It doesn't even have a hex pattern on it to get a, uh, a, a socket on there. It's, ju it's just round and it's just spot welded in a couple of places. And as you're trying to loosen that and undo it, and uh, getting a screwdriver into these uh, notches to, uh, to, to knock it to get it out. That just snaps away from there. So then what happens is the bolt is still firmly attached to the vehicle and that then just, just spins on the bottom. What utter rubbish. I mean, honestly, how much would it have cost Citroen, Fiat and Peugeot to uh, put a normal bolt in there just uh, sort of spot welded and at least you've got a hex nut on the top to get a socket on there to get that bad boy out so what i had to do luckily my father has a, a little mig welder so what i had to do was uh, get up under there and uh, sort of spot weld this back together again to uh, to be able to get uh, something on there to undo that i mean i've bashed it back apart there with a hammer now just to uh, demonstrate the problem but uh, uh that's uh, that's what I've come across. So anyway, I've got one out, and now we need to do the uh, the other one. So time to get under the van and get the welder out again. Okay, so here is the problem. That's where the uh, bump stop would normally be tucked in there, and uh, I was using my. Uh, I needed to get something quite big round here to get onto that, so I was using my oil filter chain wrench um, just sort of uh, you know, stretched around uh, 
around there like so to undo it and it starts off for a couple of turns okay and then it gets really really tight and then it goes snap and now this is spinning and is all loose but the bolt up in there is still firmly attached to the van um, but like I said earlier it's a, it's a round headed bolt not a hex bolt so you can't get a socket on there to uh, to get that off uh, which is completely daft because actually there's loads of space here look to get a, 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 a ratchet in there uh, to just undo that so why the hell the manufacturer didn't put a normal bolt on the end of that I'll never know but anyway it is what it is so upside down here welding is far from my favorite occupation and I'm far from good at it but if I can get enough on there just to hold that together to get this bolt out that would be uh, a winner winner chicken dinner won't it so let's have a go Literally, murder tight to the very last turn. Whoever designed that wants to give up the motor trade and go and work for Lidl, I think. Right, let's have a tidy up and move on to the, uh, what hopefully will be, the slightly more exciting part of it. Right, so now I've got the bump stops out, the next part of this job is to uh, fit the bellows. So I need to take these two U-bolts out uh, to get this uh, plate here out because that's going to be replaced with uh, with uh, with this one in there and uh, I've jacked the van up uh, at the back just to increase this space here just to give me a bit more space to work with so uh, these bolts are next and uh, these are monsters so I've uh, got the big uh, the big kahuna bar out to uh, to do that one Wow, blimey, they're tight. So uh, trust me when I tell you, if you've only got something like that, that ain't happening. You need one of these big bad boys. Right, anyway, we've got it turned a few uh, turns. So hopefully now I should be able to go back to the ratchet, which is uh, a bit easier to handle. Oh, incidentally, bolt size 
um, uh, or nut size rather. I'm not exactly sure what that is. I'm, I'm assuming it's going to be metric being a, a French uh, van. But the, uh, the closest I I had that would fit is a uh, uh, a seven eighths uh, uh, seven eighths uh, ratchet. Uh, but I would imagine it's obviously going to be uh, uh, metric, so probably somewhere around uh, twenty one, I guess twenty one or twenty two. Anyway, not to worry, that's uh, fixed and it's done the job. Right, so what we do now is take that. Uh, Take that plate off out of the way, we don't need that anymore. I'm glad I want underneath that when I did that. Uh, um, you can quite safely do that because there's still a, a nut and bolt on the top here holding the uh, the leaf spring to the chassis, so nothing's going to go budoing and, and fall apart on you, unless that's completely rusted away, of course. Uh, so, next job is going to be to get this. Uh, this top bracket on. Now this is uh, one of these super awkward jobs where I'm not quite sure which order is best to do this in. And uh, from my experience of doing the other side, because I have to say I, I'm filming number two, not number one. Uh, <laughs> you've got to have a you've got to have a trial run first, haven't you? Is uh, in order to get it the bolts. These uh, these little lips here. Uh, I'm just going to hammer back out of the way as best I can, which is going to make life a lot easier a bit later on in the uh, in the process. All right. right, so the kit comes with all the bolts you need, so uh, one bolt to go up in there. Now because these were an absolute bitch to get out, um, I'm just going to put a little bit of grease on this bad boy, putting it back in, so if I ever need to remove these again in the future, that might hopefully come out a little bit easier. They were so tight, the originals, I wondered if there was Loctite on them, but I don't think it was, I think it was just the fact they just sort of semi-rust into place. Right, so that goes up through there. And then that screws into there. Now this one is a 17, so that's nice and easy. I love it when you see CP, see people on YouTube fitting uh, fitting these things, all those sumo springs and stuff like that, and they just screw it in, you know, just just by hand. Yeah, yeah, right, my ass. Right now, before we go too crazy, now is the point. Now we need to uh, drop these bolts uh, through from, from the top here, like so. I don't know whether this is the right way or wrong way of doing this, but uh, this is the way I've done it on the other side. It was a bit of a fight, but uh, but it worked. Alright, so now we've got those in, we can carry on and tighten this up. sure it's going pretty well just uh you know level with the, the van really there's plenty of play on the bottom one so it doesn't have to be absolutely perfect right okay so now I need to prep up the uh the bottom one 
There's the hole for the uh, for the air for the bellow. Uh, I love doing that. So I've got the other end of my uh, tube. experience of uh, doing the other side with these is you want them them in so that you can just get a spanner on and they'll immediately nip but loose enough that this still um, will still move about that will pay dividends a little bit later on all right okay now comes the hard part of getting that back up into there and getting these top bolts on right now comes the the fighting part getting that into here and getting these top top bolts lined up and then done up from from up above in there which is as awkward as it looks right let's give it a try And this is why I bashed a little bit of that uh, metal work back out of the way because that's right above where this boat wants to go. So getting that out of the way just aids doing this uh, bolt up a little bit better. why we left this bottom bracket loose so we can uh, move that into the correct position before tightening that up so now comes the uh, ha 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 simple job of just getting these u-bolts uh, back in
one. Make sure that's all nicely lined up in the middle, like so. U bolt turn nuts back on. breaker bar and give it a tighten up. the jack off and uh, let it uh, settle back down. Okay, so we now have both connected, uh, the one over this side and one over here, that's the one you saw me uh, fitting just now in the video and the pipes are all connecting into the middle point here and we've got a little sort of swirly whirly of uh, cable there and uh, that's where the T connector is and then the pipe sort of works its way back and up through here and uh, goes up inside the van next to the uh, water pipes over here and uh, I've left a bit of a swirly whirly in the middle there because as the the suspension sort of uh, bounces up and down that'll uh, allow for some uh, some movement there uh, so the underneath is uh, pretty well done so let's have a quick look on the inside okay so here in the corner is where this uh, air pipe comes up through next to the uh, feet of the water tank and the uh, return pipe into the water system from the water tank and uh, I know lots of people look at trying to put the uh, uh, the valve and everything up in the cockpit, but uh, I didn't really see any need to run the cable or the pipe all the way to the front of the van, seeing everything's at the back here. Um, I thought it was uh, quite happy just sat in this back corner here. So uh, that's what I've done. So the pipe comes up through. Uh, we've got a bit of uh, slack cable there, just uh, rolled up in case I want to move that. And the connections go into the back. So that's the, the fill point and uh, also for, for letting the air pressure out. This is the uh, pump that, uh, the, that came with it and uh, that has a 12 volt sort of cigarette lighter attachment on it. So what I've done is I've uh, kind of re-instituted the cigarette lighter attachment that was already in the back of the van and uh, when I put a plate over this hole we'll just kind of mount that in the middle there somewhere like that. And then uh, when I want to uh, pump it up, that can simply just plug in straight there off the van electrics. And uh, this is actually uh, about three or four days after I fitted the bellows that I'm filming this part of it. And I pumped it up to just a smidge over uh, three bar. And if we have a look at the gauge there, we are still just a smidge over three bar so first time was the charm on all the pipe work look and it's not leaking so that's uh, a bonus and uh, you can see it next to all the uh, water stuff here um, and i could do a separate video on that uh, in due course uh, showing what i've done and uh, how that's all connected but the primary focus of this one is the uh, air suspension so I've just simply screwed that to the to the plywood on the side of the of the wall there, and uh, you can see the gauge from above. And then when I want to uh, to pump that up, um, I've I've fixed this uh, into position there, so that's not going to move or roll about. 
uh, and then all I need to simply do is screw that onto there and uh, plug it in and uh, that seems to uh, do the job just fine and uh, let's have a look from outside where the wheels are right shut the sliding door in a second okay so that uh level of height there is with the air suspension pumped up to three bar um, i haven't completely finished my build yet so that might sink a little bit more yet still but uh, it's certainly uh, making the height look okay and it doesn't look like the ass of the van is dragging the ground which is uh, you know at the end of the day what we were after so that's all good so I hope you found that uh, air suspension installation interesting and informative. Um, I'll wait and see how that uh, plays out when we're fully loaded and see what the, the drive is like. It's always the way that you discover a different product after you've actually done it. And uh, I've come across something called Sumo Springs, which is typical. Um, so that might be a good plan B if this air suspension turns out not to be quite what I'm hoping it is. But uh, we'll give it a go. We'll give it a go. So please remember to like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.